Ubius of the Tubius. The best YouTube subscribers. I would do a drum roll if I could play the drums. <laughs> the best subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. Okay. I know it's been a little while. I'm starting to get back in the swing of things and make some good videos for you guys. So I'm going to, I'm trying to bring you the content that you want. So I'm going to answer some more of your questions. Okay. This one comes from Omar. He said, uh, what if I don't have flatbed experience? Uh, do I have to go out with a mentor to teach me how to secure loads uh, and to let me hook up a truck? I live in Florida. Uh, would they be able to get me back home? And do I take the truck or what? So let's talk about uh, the first part of his question. Do you need experience? You you do not need flatbed experience at Melton. When you come, all you need is a CDL and a damn good attitude. Okay, You're going to go to orientation. And in orientation... Oh, looking for some salt, but you're going to go to orientation and they're going to teach you some securement and, um, and some tarping, okay? And then you're going to go out with a trainer, okay? And if you're lucky enough to go out with me, I'm gonna be your mentor and co-driver. I'm not. I'm not your trainer. You're not a dog. You're a human being. I can teach you. I can mentor you. I ain't gonna train you. Okay. I know that's. A, I know that's just words. But I like to talk to you that way. I don't want you to think that you're anything less than what you than I am. Okay. You all right. So that's why I say that. I ain't trying to get all. Oh, man, that's just words. No, shit. It means something to me. Don't train me. Uh, you know, you can teach me, but don't try to train me. I'm not a dog. You know, follow what I'm saying. Anyways, you're going to get with a, a, a mentor. And uh, they're going to teach you uh, more than anything uh, is is how to safely this is the this is the nutshell they need to safely teach you how to safely get your load from right here right here and do it safely that's their goal okay teach you how to properly secure your load and properly get that load to it to its final without there being any issues okay all that includes you know proper securement um proper lane lane changing and traffic you know the working with the traffic and the weather and the elements and you know getting there on time all of that encompasses getting it from here to here safely all that's the same thing okay it's, it's it, you know you miss any of that it don't get there safe okay that includes backing and everything else and so when you show up you don't have to have flatbed experience Just, you're going to learn that during that journey from here to here okay so don't worry about that part you got it okay no, no experience needed okay um uh so you live in Florida, and you want to know how they get you back home and all that good stuff. That might be a little bit over my pay grade, <laughs> you know. Um, and I say that because there are some parts of the country that's uh, a little more uh, uh, freight friendly than others. Okay, and it, and you know, I, I don't want to say anything that that may not be correct. So. Um, for that question, I want, I want you to just use the link down below, okay? Just in my description, there's going to be a link that you can uh, tap on and get you to uh, a, a recruiter is going to call you back and, and answer some good questions for you. And that's going to be one of them. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, uh, you know, uh, 
getting you home is is a priority for for Milton. They, they tell you they're going to do it, and they're going to do it. Um, how it how the freight works to get you there. Um, I, I don't want to again speak over my pay grade because I'm not exactly sure how they do that in, in some in some states. Okay, because it's more difficult in some states than other. But they're going to make it happen. Do not believe that they're not going to make it happen. They're going to make it happen. Okay. Um, if they're hiring in your state, they'll let you know. If they're hiring in your area, right? They may be hiring in, in, in Florida, but not in your particular area. And the reason they don't they don't hire in your particular area is because they can't get you home because they don't have the the freight base in that area. You follow what I'm saying? So I I don't I don't want to answer you wrong in that sense. Okay. So how do they get you home? Um, if they, you happen to be in a in a uh, a freight worthy area, and uh, and Milton sending you home, they're gonna send you home in the truck, and most of the time, they're going to uh, send you a vast majority of the way under load, and then repower you, and you can. Uh, when you repower, you're going to swap with a guy who's going to have an empty trailer, or he may even have a load that actually goes to your hometown and, and, and the one that you're going carrying may go someplace else. Then you guys will switch loads and then you'll go into the house and he'll go finish delivering yours. You deliver what he had, or maybe he has an empty trailer and you're just going to hook, you know, uh, do a load swap with him, take his empty trailer. He's going to go deliver your load and you're going to take the empty trailer to your house, to your domicile. Or, you know, if you, uh, um, um, there's a truck stop somewhere around there that you can safely put the truck, then there you go. Okay. Um, here in Houston, Milton has, uh, they pay to, to, uh, for us to park. And, you know, I, I'm home every weekend and I park and there may be 20 other Milton trucks in that, at that, uh, at that paid parking area. Okay. And we can park our, our personal vehicles there. And, um, it's secure. Uh, you have to go through a guard shack to get in and out of there. And, uh, you know, never, ever, I've never had any issues over there. Okay. And, uh, and you know, I, I have to believe that there's more than just that one spot that Milton takes care of. You know, it, it's owned by, uh, you know, a company. There's a bunch of other trucking companies that park there. But uh, I guess they have to pay a percentage of the spots to, to park there. I don't know how it works, but I know that Milton takes care of it. All I got to do is just go over there and drop off. Drop the truck, get in my car, and go home. Come back, and everything's taken care of, which is about 100% of the stuff that goes on at this company. I mean, it, it, everything is just handled for you. You just, it's, I never had any problems, okay? And so there may be, um, they may have suggested parking spots or areas where you live. And if that's the case, ask, say, hey, this is where I live. You know, where would I, you know, you know, where, where, what, what do I do? What, you know, is there a spot close? And, and then they'll let you know, you know, if they can, if they can handle it or you'll have to find a spot for yourself. Okay. You'll have to be able to say, uh, you know, there's a spot where I can park. It's secure. Your truck ain't going to get towed and nobody's going to vandalize it. You really got to make sure that where you park is, uh, not just a spot where you, it's convenient for you, but, um, where it's, it's safe for the vehicle. Okay. Um, same thing if you were to uh, live in an area where you are, where you live, you you, you drive past there. I mean, I, I, I'm regional and I may get through the house a couple times a week during the week before I come home for the weekend. OK, I love it. But um, there are some spots I could park because I'm only going to be home for my 10 hour break. There's some spots I could park that are closer to my house, but I don't park there. And I'll park there because I'm under a load, okay? So I have freight back there. And, you know, you should have some sense of responsibility to make sure that that load is delivered safely and intact, okay? And safely means I didn't park it somewhere where whenever um, I come back, half of it's, you know, gone. Okay? Just so that you can park close to the house. Well, it ain't my freight. I don't care. Well, maybe you go work someplace else. Because having that type of attitude 
hurts the rest of the drivers. Okay, that's just the way it works. It hurts the entire company. Whenever you don't, you're, you're not, you don't hold yourself accountable for what's going on. Okay, um, every time someone stays up late playing, you know, uh, Call of Duty or something, and then go to sleep and wake up three hours later and got to go drive eleven hours, and then they throw the truck in the ditch. It was a bad decision to stay up all night playing Call of Duty and then try to drive 11 hours on three hours of sleep. It was irresponsible. Okay, And you threw the truck in the ditch and now everybody suffers. You follow what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Same thing if you don't, if you don't park the truck in, a, in an area where it's not going to cost everybody, you know, profit sharing money or, or, or whatever. If you're, if you're not responsible for it, man, that's going to be an issue, okay? And it doesn't matter what company you work for, you know. You, that's not for the company. That should be for you. You should want to have, uh, you know, some some personal accountability, right? So um, it's not totally up to the company to find you a place to park the truck, but you need to do that. You need to make sure that the spot that you choose is safe, okay? Basically, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. I'm going to kind of drag it on a little bit. You know, I took a little a little break, you know, when I when I worked through some personal stuff, man. You know, I had a loss, and it was, it was it's devastating. So, you know, I'm trying to get back in the swing of making some, you know, bringing you guys some content, content that you can use. By the way, we hit 6,000 subscribers. That's a lot. I, hey, I know there's guys out there that's got, you know, 50, 75, 100,000, you know, subscribers. I'm I'm extremely proud of my 6,000 UBist. I I'm I'm I can't thank you guys enough. I can't believe 6,000 people will listen to me run my mouth. I hope I'm delivering some information that you guys can use. You know, your time is valuable to me and I appreciate it. You know, you could be doing a whole lot of other things and listening to me run my mouth and I appreciate you, okay? And if you don't mind, I want you to click that like button. I want you to keep me a thumbs up, okay? And I want you to share the videos. Try to uh, uh, get us on track, man. You know, last year I wanted to hit 5,000 and we were in uh, December before we hit 5,000. And this year... We racked up another thousand subscribers, and we did it earlier in the year, man. I'm happy. I really am. I really appreciate you guys. I truly, truly, truly do. Um, if you guys want to drive flatbed, you want to come. It's like the flatbed companies out there. I work for one. It's called Milton Transportation, Milton Truck Lines. That's right. Very good folks, man. And I'm having a really good time. Okay. Um. People ask me, hey, man, that's a starter company. I'm going to go over there and get my experience, and then I'm going to move on. I can't tell you what not to do, but I can tell you this. There's a lot of return drivers come to orientation every week. <laughs> that's right. Hey, man, the grass ain't always greener. Come on over here. There's a link down below. And that link doesn't take you to a, a, a loan application. It's just going to be uh, your name and phone number and email or something like that. And let a recruiter talk to you, okay? Pretty simple. And then come on over. And once you start driving, once you realize what you got, you'll hang in there. The, believe me, it's worth it. It's worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I... I, I uh, Omar, I hope I, 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 I answered your questions for you, brother. Um... If you, uh, you know, if you if you're taking me up on that offer and you click that link down below and you talk to the recruiter, I want you to have a series of questions. I want you to write those questions down before uh, you uh, you speak to them, because you don't want to lose track of information. And write down who you talk to in a company. Okay, but you may have other companies calling you, right? And you can get confused if you keep it all in your head. Um, what recruiter told you what? Okay, so find out. You know, make sure that it's going to work out for you. Okay, flatbedding is not the uh, not the easiest 
way to do trucking, but it's not as hard as folks want you to believe. Straight up. People like to say, oh, man, this is the hardest thing. You know, you got to have all this skill. Be all you got to do is not be lazy. Bottom line, if you're not lazy, you're going to do just fine because it's not hard work. It's just work. And the problem is a lot of people don't want to do it. Work, that is. Till I see you again, <laughs> deliver undistracted. And here's your boop. Thank you guys for the 6,000 subscribers.